Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am bringing you my favorite alternatives for some Becca favorites. So if you want to see what those are, then just keep watching. Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I am a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all of the new makeup on the market and sharing my thoughts with you guys. And really sad news happened last week in the beauty community. If you're at all invested in the makeup market like I am and just the industry in general, <sighs> Becca Cosmetics has announced that they were going to be closing their doors in September. And I wasn't shocked, I guess. I, I didn't think it would happen, but I wasn't shocked. I Now looking back, I can see that they were headed in that direction. The releases have not been very interesting at all. And you don't hear as much about Becca anymore. And I think where it started from was their lack of releases and lack of good releases and collaborations like they used to do. They definitely slowed down. So I would equate that to COVID, but I guess there was things behind the scene going on that we didn't know. It's just, it's very weird, very weird, because while, you know, they weren't on the forefront of the makeup market, them being owned by Estee Lauder, who has bajillions of money. I just didn't think that that <laughs> would happen. And they released that Becca Zero Pigment, and I feel like that was kind of their last ditch effort to kind of bring their brand back. They wanted to do something that was going to get their name back out there regardless of the reviews and uh, it didn't work. So very sad. Kind of looking back at Becca's line and Becca's products, they definitely have some staples that are still being used today, still on the best sellers list, but I guess they just couldn't keep up. So for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my alternatives to some Becca products products that I've tried or maybe some of your favorites. There's some things like the bronzer, the foundation, concealer. I've never tried those so I can't give you alternatives to those. And this is not a dupes video. Looking through my collection, I honestly feel like Becca has some unique formulas that I personally don't consider dupes. But these are products that I feel like if you like this product from Becca, you will like this product. They're similar, they have a similar finish, they have a similar kind of description of what they are supposed to do. Now, if you are interested in picking up some of your Becca staples and stocking up, I'm gonna put a coupon code that I found below for the Becca website. It'll save you 25% off. The link will be affiliated, but the code is not affiliated. I just randomly found it. Yeah, and I don't think you need to be stocking up right now unless you're tried and true favorite favorite is still available because I do think, you know, they're not going to restock things. So as if there is things that you really want and you need to have, get them now. But if you wait a little bit closer to September, I think bigger sales will happen. But there are some items that I'm going to talk about today that I personally find to be irreplaceable and I would suggest stocking up on. But we'll get into that. I've talked enough. Let's go. So the first product that I want to talk about is the Backlight Priming Filter. This was the most popular face primer for quite some time a few years ago. And it is a beautiful glowy primer. It is slightly hydrating and it has almost a shimmery finish. You can see very, very small sparkly particles. Nothing unflattering. Nothing that I think you will dislike. But that's just what I noticed compared to the alternative alternative that I'm bringing to you guys, which is the MAC Strobe Cream. Now in my demo, these do look different because this is more pinky. They're just not the same colors. MAC has different colors that are going to be more close to the Becca Priming Filter, this particular color, but these are both hydrating, shiny bases, and they don't look very different on the skin, and they feel about the same as well. I would say looking into differences, the MAC maybe is a bit more metallic, whereas this one has a little bit more sparkles, but they look the same underneath makeup. They feel the same in my opinion. So I think if you like the Becca Priming Filter, look into the MAC Strobe Cream. Another alternative that I have if you like the Becca Priming Filters of different colors is to look into the Vesca Beauty Soft Sun Radiant Skin Primer. So these aren't as glowy. They're a little bit more subtle. So maybe if you like that little bit more 
subtleness you'll like these and I love these for their color selection they have a lavender shade that I really love they have a pinky shade and a golden shade and these really do naturally light up the face keeping it really natural so again if you like those Becca dewy primers I really do think you'll like this another face primer that I want to give you an alternative for is their skin elixir well I personally do not own it it's been on my wish list for quite some time and I've swatched it felt it tested it enough to know so the skin elixir is a really great moisturizing almost serumy feeling product it smells like cantaloupe it's quite wonderful and I think if you like that then you will really like the fourth ray face milks they're really great now I don't have like a cantaloupe face milk or anything but fourth ray has all different kinds of flavors and scents and these are very similar they remind me of each other I do find the Becca to be a bit more hydrating but it's that similar kind of moisturizing serumy feel that is really nice and this is a great cheaper alternative as well so I just wanted to throw that out there these next alternatives are ones that I know you guys already probably know but I did want to share it anyway so one of Becca's number one best-selling products is the Becca under eye brightening corrector and this formula honestly I find to be very unique because most under eye correctors aren't this consistency it's almost more shiny and a little bit more sticky honestly I'm really not a fan of that I do think this under eye corrector is very nice, but I personally prefer the Charlotte Tilbury under eye corrector. Here's what it looks like. Now this one has a very different consistency and finish, and you'll see in my demo it's definitely more matte compared to the shiny Becca. And you can see underneath the concealer, you really can't tell much of a difference. Maybe there's a bit more shininess under the eye with the Becca, but I think they both work very similar. I personally prefer the Charlotte Tilbury. They both work great underneath concealer. They don't get extra creasy. So maybe give the Charlotte Tilbury a try. I know I've gotten comments where you guys have told me you still prefer the Becca, so I'm not saying this is a better alternative, but I personally like it and they work the same. Let's move on to a blush. I think Becca has a beautiful blush formula. They are very pigmented, so you need to use a light hand, but they blend beautifully. And in particular, these are actually already sold out on her website. But I love the luminous blushes. I only have one shade in a single pan and this is the shade Camellia and I have it on this cheek right here. It is a beautiful blush. So if you like their luminous blushes, I think you're really going to like the Natasha Denona highlighting blush. She has other formulas that are very similar. So Natasha Denona's are also quite pigmented, very easy to blend, and they have that beautiful sheen. Now this shade in Bloom in particular is a bit more reflective compared to the Becca. Obviously I'm not doing a color dupe here, but they give a similar finish on the face and they give you that luminous cheek. And I find these formulas to be very, very comparable. I also think you would like the Ofra blush duos, the ones that have the shimmer. Now this is one where I don't think the formulas are very comparable but I just think if you like that Becca super pigmented formula that you will also like the Ofra. So maybe look into Ofra as well. Let's talk about Becca's highlighters. For a while, Becca was the go-to brand for highlighters. I think as time has gone on, there's just been a lot of great highlighting formulas coming out from other brands and Becca couldn't just rely on their highlighters anymore. And that could have also been a reason for their just dropping down in popularity and sales. You know, I have, as far as similar, I have a champagne pain pop split. Remember the collaboration with Jaclyn Hill. I also have the one that I'm wearing right now, which is Prosecco Pop, which is a little bit more golden. Now the Becca formula is thick. It's pigmented, but it still spreads beautifully into the skin. I really think if you like the Becca highlighters, you will love the Persona highlighters. These are very, very similar in that they're so pigmented. They're a loosely packed kind of formula. They're very, very reflective and they blend into the skin beautifully. So I have the shade Zuma and I love these Persona highlighters. I honestly think I like them more than the Becca. So this is an alternative for Becca's highlighters that you can get and I like them a little bit better. A couple other options if you love the shiny reflectiveness of the Becca highlighters, look into Jouer highlighters. These are the most reflective. They aren't as creamy or as that like loosely packed texture that the Becca has. These are a bit more slick but they're going to give you the shine if that's what you like about the Becca highlighters. And then also a drugstore alternative that I think would be really nice are the Milani highlighters, particularly this trio because it has that thick 
formula that you get a lot of color and payoff on the cheek from and it's very shiny. Now these don't last as long as the Becca. They aren't as good as the Becca, but they have a similar formula that I think you will like if you like the Becca highlighters. One thing that I find completely irreplaceable from Becca are their face palettes. I've been a collector of their face palettes for years. For a while, Becca was a staple brand that I would review on my channel before I got bored. I have everything from the Jaclyn Hill palette still. Let me show you. These are no longer sold for sure. This Be A Light palette, which is more of like a baked kind of formula. Chrissy Teigen's palette, which I really loved. And you'll see Becca has the most gorgeous elegant packaging. It looks expensive and their formulas were just stunning. And unfortunately, while I wish I could give you an alternative to Becca palettes, I really find them to be irreplaceable. A palette that is currently available on the Becca website that is on sale, so I do recommend it, is the Becca, Chloe, and Malika collaboration palette. Now this palette isn't perfect. They do have a review if you want more details on it, but it really is that glowy Becca kind of look. And I do really love this palette. I use the bronzer today and it just gives you that overall glowy ethereal look. Becca gives you pigment while also giving you glow. And that is what I think is unique about their palettes. Thinking about Hourglass, Hourglass is just more subtle. It doesn't compare to Becca. I was also looking into some Charlotte Tilbury, but even though Charlotte Tilbury is a glowy brand, again, they don't give you that pigment and impact that the Becca face palettes give. So that is something that's really unique. Something though that I did pull out today was this Pixie by Petra Nuance Quartet Sugar Blossom Palette because it is an overall very pretty glowy palette and I did use the bronzer on this side of my face whereas I use the Chloe bronzer and I think you can get a very similar effect on the face with this Pixie palette. Does it compare to Becca? Not really but if you like the overall glowy look that the Becca palettes give you this is something that you could look into but seriously if you can get a good Becca palette before they go out, I really do feel that Becca has unique palettes. I almost forgot to show you, actually, if you like the luminous blush kind of look, look into the Beauty Bakery Cotton Candy Champagne Palette. This is the perfect blend between a, like a highlighter and a blush. So again, if you like that glowy, luminous blush formula from Becca, you will love this, seriously. So, sorry, I forgot to mention that, but yes. As far as like the face palettes go and the glowy blush goes from Becca, this is a great palette to get. That reminds me a lot of Becca. All right, we are going to move on to lips. So these aren't very popular from Becca, but I do like their lip pencil formula. I'm using the shade Blissful, and if you want to pick these up, I think they're very nice. They have a smudger on the back and they're a creamy, creamy formula. Now, I don't think this is a formula that you need to stock up on. I prefer a lot of other lip liners to these, but <laughs> you guys are gonna be like really Morgan, but an alternative that I wanted to share for this video was the Chanel lip liners because of the little brush at the end. I don't know if you have a better alternative for their lip liners. Can you let me know because I literally don't have anything but my Chanel lip liner reminded me of that because it has you know the pencil liner on one side and then you can smudge it out. So if you know of another lip liner with similar packaging, please put it in the comments down below because I failed you guys on that one. We're gonna move on to another product that personally I find irreplaceable and I really do feel like if you are interested and love this formula I would stock up on the Becca lipsticks and honestly I wouldn't be too sad about Becca closing if it weren't for their lipsticks. These are in the high-end category my all-time favorite lipsticks. They're made in Canada and they're so creamy, so shiny, so easy to apply, so moisturizing on the lips. They literally are one of my favorite lipsticks. Now the shade I would recommend for you to pick up the most is Sugar. This is the color that I'm wearing on my lips. It's the perfect neutral cool toned lip, but it works great with warm tone looks, cool tone looks, amazing. Also, I'm not sure if you can get this. This is from the Chloe and Malika collection, but if you can, the shade Hot Tamales, a gorgeous, gorgeous red. Anyways, there's not a formula in my opinion that compares to the Becca lipsticks, but I did want to give you alternatives. So if you like the Becca lipsticks, you will also like 
like these formulas. You will love the Natasha Denona lipsticks for how smooth and creamy they are. And you will love the Charlotte Tilbury Kissing Formula lipsticks because the Kissing Formula from Charlotte Tilbury is shiny. It's easy to apply and I find that Charlotte Tilbury has a very similar color range to Becca in that the colors are just so wearable and neutral. You will love Natasha Denona and Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks, but again, in my opinion, there is no dupe. There isn't a formula that I love quite as much as Becca. So in my opinion, Becca is truly a hard formula to dupe. I couldn't find anything in my collection. The final product that I wanted to share an alternative for were the Liquid Crystal Lip Topper Glow Glosses. And when these first came out a few years ago, I was obsessed with these. They are a gorgeous glitter gloss and the glitters in these gloss stand out more than most glosses. So the alternative that um, I wanted to share with you were MAC Dazzle Glasses. These are also another formula where the glitters really stand out. Now the Dazzle Glass formula is a bit more thick and sticky than the Becca. I do like the Becca formula more, but this isn't a formula that I feel like you need to run out and stock up on. I think the MAC Dazzle Glasses Colors are better, honestly, and they give that similar glittery kind of lip gloss effect. So that's a good alternative if you do enjoy the Becca Crystal Lip Glosses. All right, you guys, there we have it. Those are all of my alternatives for your favorite Becca products. Now, if you know of any alternatives or dupes for other Becca products, let's help each other out. Please put them in the comments down below. I'm not a dupe channel. I'm not good at finding dupes. I think as we near closer to September, I'm gonna start keeping my eyes open of products that I think are good enough to replace your backup products. But for now, I just wanted to share these with you and I wanted us to get the conversation open. Why do you think Becca's closed? And also what products do you think are dupes for their products? Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.